All I'm going to say there is thank God we didn't go to penalties against Tim Krull. I think Norwich would have won. Harry Maguire coming up with the late goal for United. 2-1 winners over 10 men. Norwich after extra time. It was a struggle that game, wasn't it? Eight changes from the 3-0 win against Sheffield United. And it was obvious that the momentum wasn't in that team from the first whistle. Jesse Lingard, he's got to go. He really, really does. There's nothing else you can say about it. His performance and that whole performance from United in the first 45 minutes, bar that goal from Igalo, reminds me of what we've seen in the last few years and the sort of averageness that we've become accepted, accustomed sorry, to accepting. Can't do it anymore, not when we've got players like Bruno. Bruno had probably his worst game in a United shirt and he was probably one of the best players on the pitch still. Kind of sums up United's performance overall. But United got through in the end there. We had it with Greenwood, Igalo, Martial, Rashford, Pogba, Fernandes. The whole attack was on the pitch and we still nearly didn't break Norwich down. All credit to them for holding on. But United made the difference there towards the end and it was Paul Pogba and that pass because United had so much pressure and possession there. But Pogba was the player who took that brave pass on. Instead of passing it sideways and sideways and sideways, getting a corner, nothing coming from it. He was the man who broke the line there with the ball. I think it was through to Martial, not sure, but it went to Maguire. He was in the right place to scrap it in the bottom corner. United go through 2-1 in the semi-final of the FA Cup and we take a step closer to an all-important first trophy for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer that could be the start of something beautiful. But regardless of that, United are a step closer. Looking at the game as a whole, it's kind of hard to remember 45 minutes of the first 45 after... Two 45 minutes and another half an hour of extra time, but it was very mundane, I think would be fair to call that performance, largely from United, lacking tempo, lacking quality. Bruno Fernandes almost trying too hard in that first half because nobody else was really trying. Igalo was on the pitch, but there was no service into him. Diogo Dalot, a player who's not going to get many opportunities at right back, he should be behind Ethan Laird in, in the pecking order. Awful performance from him, right by Solskjaer to take him off. Luke Shaw, indifferent about that performance, but I was pretty indifferent about basically every performance on the pitch there today. No one player really stood out, and Paul Popper was the man who made the difference towards the end there, and I'm definitely going to give him the credit for that, but just everybody, even the players who came on, some decisions were better from the likes of Greenwood in comparison to Fernandes, but there was just no cohesion there, and that's not too much of a surprise given that we made eight changes to the team, and I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer would just be happy that we got through that game. Because it was a risk making eight changes, given that the FA Cup is taking on significant importance this season because of what it could mean for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and this United team going forward. In that second half, Norwich, that goal from Campwell was a fantastic finish. Would David De Gea have saved it? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But it's the first goal we've conceded in the FA Cup this season, so I really cannot complain too much. But I can complain about the overall start and tempo of United. You know, at a time there, especially in that extra time period when they went down to 10 men, rightly a red card there for the Norwich player pulling down Igalo. It was so crammed on the edge of the box because we had Igalo, Greenwood, Rashford, Marcia, all of our attackers were on. We needed Shaw and Williams as the fullbacks to stretch the Norwich defence, to offer threats on the overlap that would take players away from the middle, that would give the attackers the, the chance to attack through the middle, but they didn't. Shaw and Williams were too conservative weren't going forward enough. Norwich were offering nothing going forward because they were down to 10 men. It shouldn't have taken until the last minute to get that winner, but at least we got it. I suppose that's what you've got to say. And people will look at this and say, oh, United haven't taken a step forward. Look, they can't even, with their entire team on the pitch, get past Norwich. We did get past Norwich, but this is the, we're three months out of football. We had a game against Spurs. We're up until the 60th minute. We couldn't really do much. And then Pogba came on and United really took a grip of that game. and Arguably, we deserved the 2-1 win towards the end. And then he had Sheffield United at home, a 3-0 win where United were just in cruise control from the first minute and it was sexy football. And that game against Norwich there in the FA Cup with eight changes, second game in a week, players were tired, legs were tired and it was tired football. And largely quite shit football, let's be honest. But we came through it, just about. We scrapped through it. I thought Tim Krull was on for a man of the match performance after knocking United out on penalties. And I was seeing the headlines already. But then Maguire just decided to sweep it in. And Maguire, I think, had an overall a pretty decent game. You know, there was a lot of opportunities that Norwich had on the edge of the box. And when they were swinging crosses in, he was in the right place at the right time. 
as you'd expect of your main centre-back, and he blocks plenty of Norwich opportunities. My man of the match there, I suppose it has to go to Maguire for getting that match winner. But for me, Pogba with that, that moment there, because we had so much possession with very little pressure on Norwich's actual box. And Pogba was the one there with his little dink through that just carved them open, that took them out of their defensive shape, that led to the goal. And it's those moments that you need your best players for. And that's what Pogba will continue to do this season. Three games there against Spurs, against Sheffield United and against Norwich. He's massively influenced the game in three completely different ways. One from the bench, the second one for the whole game against Sheffield United from more of a quarterback position. And that one there, just a little moment of magic that you need your best players for. And well done to Pogba for having the balls and the quality and the vision to make that pass where others just weren't doing it. Bruno Fernandes, as I said, probably his worst game in the United shirt, but still one of our brightest players on the pitch. And it goes to show the quality between what we're used to seeing and what we should be seeing moving forward. Jesse Lingard, Juan Mata, Diogo Delot, three players I would really question whether they should be at United next season. Unfortunately for Delot, Laird, probably better to have an understudy to Juan Bissaka. Unfortunately for Mata, maybe we'll keep him for another year, but he seems to be just a passenger rather than an option from the bench. And Jesse Lingard, a stark reminder of what's happened to United over recent years. And he had that sensational purple patch where he got like three or four goals in a month, one player of the month. He scored some fantastic goals for us in big finals, but the ultimate reality is this United team moving forward cannot do it with Jesse Lingard in or players of his quality. The standards have to be higher. And that's what Pogba doing, what he's done off the bench has really shown us. And the quality from the bench can change games and it did it today. All six subs. Solskjaer, the first manager to make six subs and five subs in a game. Bet your manager can't say that. What a manager, what a record breaker he is. But United through, all jokes aside, United through to the FA Cup semi-final. Just by the skin of our teeth, but we're through anyway. 2-1 winners after extra time against Norwich. Let me know who your man of the match was in the comments. But for me, Maguire gets man of the match. Pogba deserves a hell of a lot of praise though for that pass. Bring on Brighton and see what comes next and bring on the FA Cup semi-final.